Hi, welcome to the Home Birth of 535 week update. I just got back from a midwife appointment a couple hours ago and thought that I'd give you guys a little rundown of how that appointment went. So for anyone who's been watching my videos, you know that I suspected I had white coat syndrome um, because my blood pressure when I was visiting in the office with the midwives was always on the higher side. So mid 120s to mid 130s on 80s. Um, and that, of course, concerned me because I didn't want um, to have anything that would rule me up for a home birth. So after my last appointment, I checked my blood pressure for about two weeks, twice a day, and at home, and then verified at various uh, public blood pressure check clinics. Um, my blood pressure was always 110 to 120 on 70s to 80s, so right where it should be. So I brought all that data to my midwife this morning and I told her, you know, this is what I think is happening. And we talked honestly, probably for the first time this pregnancy, about the fact that I feel like I know rationally that they're there to enable me to have the home birth that I want. But sometimes with this blood pressure stuff, I feel like um, it'll be used to rule me out. And so that makes me anxious and it's kind of that whole uh, cyclical thing where I'm kind of building it up in my head to be a bigger deal than it is. So the nice part is that my midwife today really reassured me that they want this home birth as much as I do and that they'll go and stick their butt out for me as much as they can um, in order to get the birth that I would like this baby to have. And in the end, I've just felt a lot better about everything. I'm still feeling really good um, physically and emotionally. Definitely way better than I was even a couple weeks ago. Um, let's see what else is on my list. It was really kind of funny. Next week is my home visit. At 36 weeks is when my midwife likes to do them. And uh, I can't believe it snuck up so quickly. So today after our... Um, my appointment. I made all my weekly visits from 37 to 41 weeks, uh, the appointments for those. And it just seems so strange that after next week I'm pretty much clear to have this baby anytime. It's very surreal. I can't imagine. And then I just look at my to-do list and everything else that I want to do and uh, I don't know how I'll get it all done. But fingers crossed it'll work out. <laughs> um, speaking of my to-do list, um, one of the things that I did today, which was a huge thing on my list that I wanted to do, was smudge my house. Now I know some people of various religious uh, leanings might uh, worry about smudging and um, about what it entails, but I promise you in my case it really is just about trying to cleanse any sort of bad energy in the house and welcoming in new energy. And I really felt that before this birth happens, I wanted to clear any energy that would hinder my process and um, make me feel like I didn't have put my best foot forward for welcoming this child. And so I feel so much calmer having done it. And whether that is because it's, you know, it actually does something or if it's just the uh, affirmation that goes along with welcoming in positive energy. I don't know, but it makes me feel really good. Just like um, so I also picked up my homeopathic kit for my birth. And uh, just so everybody knows, what that entails here for us is um, they like to include calendula which um, they want you to put uh, in the Perry bottle. So after you have your baby, every time you go to the washroom, um, sometimes that can sting a little bit, especially in the first couple days. So they just have you put a couple squirts of that in your Perry bottle and it just, they think it heals things faster. And having used it twice before, I agree. Um, I have very little postpartum swelling. Um, the other thing they recommend is Arnica, so I got one little vial of Arnica. I didn't use that as much. Uh, I've used Arnica uh, previously for other surgeries I've had, and I don't know if I feel it works for me, but it can't hurt. And then uh, the other thing I bought was Easy Birth, which is another homeopathic remedy 
that um, my midwives recommend. And so this I have used for my previous pregnancies. And I don't know if, I don't know if any of this stuff works. What I can tell you is that I've had fast and easy labors and I've had fast and good recoveries. And so I figure I'll throw anything at it to make things feel a little better um, either way and go a little better. And that really doesn't uh, concern me. Uh, starting around 37 weeks, I'll also add evening primrose oil to my various supplements that I take uh, in order to help uh, ripen that cervix as well. So those things are underway. I also got a new Perry bottle, which is so exciting, but uh, I can't find one of mine, so I just figured I'd like a spare. Um, what else? What else? So I have some baby buys to show you. Um, this first one is not actually a buy. It's something my sister made for me. So my sister, we don't know the gender of this baby, as you probably know. So my sister made a cute little hat and some matching booties, which are tiny. And then a matching little white cloth or burp cloth, which is kind of sweet of her for this new one. And uh, the other thing I bought was some other muslin blankets. So now I have a total of eight. And these are from an Etsy seller called Frank and Me. And I've bought a lot of stuff in her. She's currently working on some stroller blankets, but my middle son has um, uh, his lovey blanket that he always must have came from her and I love her thing. So I'll put a link in the uh, little comment box below with uh, her Etsy store. I haven't bought very many things that are really gender specific, but I could not resist. Hello Kitty Baby Legs. So because this baby will be born in the winter, if it happens to be a girl, she will be wearing a lot of baby legs. And so I, I like Hello Kitty. I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with her, but I like her. Um, some other things. You've already seen these. These are um, the little outfits that I got, the first baby outfits for when the baby's born depending on if it's a boy or a girl, but I didn't have hats to go with them. So I got a little hat to go with the girl one, a little quilted hat. And then I got another matching little hat to go with the boy one. And this one actually has stripes on the inside that go a little better. So those are exciting for me. And finally, I finally bought a woven wrap. I had a woven wrap with my first son and I did not love it. I uh, found it way too hot. My first was born in March and so by the time I got into baby wearing uh, it was the heat of summer and I just found everything too warm. But this time I'm having a winter baby. I'm going to try again. So I got a uh, Aubergine Zeras uh, wrap sling from Ellaville and I'll put the link to the store where I bought that from. I have it all knotted up right now because I'm trying to break it in a bit, but it's absolutely beautiful. I've <laughs> put my toddler and my preschooler on my back wearing this, and uh, I can't wait for the weight of a newborn because that's going to be a lot easier. Anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for now. I will do an uh, update after my home visit next week, and I will definitely do a video next week of all the preparations that we've done getting uh, the baby stuff ready and show you a little tour of my house. So I'll see you soon.